There you have it folks, your definitive guide on how to get perfect paint lines using painter's tape. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Steve from Refresh here for Cantax Tape. And I'm gonna show you today the definitive guide for how to get a perfect paint line using painter's tape. Grab your brushes and let's get started. There's a few things you gotta think about when you're doing a painted tape line. And one of those things is what surface that you're taping on. Sometimes it's hard because you don't necessarily know, but let's say for example, if this wall has been painted recently, or if it's just one or two layers of paint over fresh mud that maybe wasn't dusted properly, one of the things that you should be concerned about is when you're peeling your tape, a lot of the time what happens is as you're peeling, the top layer of paint will come off with your tape and there's nothing worse because then you have to go and fill and you're basically starting, starting from scratch. The best way to prevent that is to use a delicate tape or a tape that's designed not to be quite as adhesive. So this is uh, Edge Pro from Cantec. Basically we found this to be one of the best tapes for clean lines without destroying the wall behind it. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to get a good line with painter's tape. So, first thing I'll show you is what happens if you just haphazardly stick your tape on. So if your tape is just plopped on there, not pushed in too hard, and you just mindlessly take your roller, what tends to happen is you get some edge bleeding. So you can see along this line here, you can see where the paint has seeped underneath the tape. Now we've used a dent shield here to demonstrate this. It's not particularly smooth. Drywall is generally smoother than this, but this is a good example of why you gotta put some thought into this. You can't just paint over your tape. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks to get a smooth line using the same tape. So there's a couple of tricks that we use to ensure a perfect line when we're taping. The first one that I'm gonna show you applies to virtually any tape, and it's a pretty easy way to get a clean line first thing you can do is just make sure that that top edge is pressed firmly in. The more careful you are with this, obviously, the better the seal. But there's going to be some imperfections that you're not going to be able to fully cover just by pressing it in. We generally don't worry so much about that back edge. As long as that front one is pressed in, that's going to stop a lot of that. But another thing to think about, what we recommend doing, when you're brushing on the paint to get this tape line here, what I want you to think about is if I'm brushing down, what I'm doing is I'm forcing paint down into that tape seam and you're encouraging this. So you're encouraging that, that bleeding effect. So what I want you to think about is if you're brushing, think about stroking upwards. So you're stroking away from that tape edge. And this is going to give you a good shot of not getting any excess paint into that line. So this is a really easy way without making any real adjustments. So if I'm just brushing up, same technique as before, the paint just isn't being forced into that seam. So watch the difference here, just from an upstroke. So you can see it's a lot better, but it's not perfect. Much, much cleaner than the top one, but you can see here we're still getting some bleeding. And that's kind of what I was telling you before, that inevitable, those, those little gaps that you're not going to be able to fill just by pressing the tape hard against the wall. But there is a way to solve that, and this is the trick that we like to use the most. So hang on and I'll show you that one. Okay, so we've shown you some ways to get some pretty good results, but we're going to show you the, the technique that we use to get perfect results. Okay, so it starts off pretty much the same. You're going to take your tape, and you're going to apply it the same way as you did before. So just make sure that you smooth that top edge. Really press that in there. Get as much of that blocked off as you can. Now here's where it gets interesting. This board has been painted in Sebring white. So if this was your wall, it would be as though your wall was painted in Sebring white. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get that same Sebring white color. So this is the same paint that was used on this board. And we're gonna paint first with Sebring white. The reason being, we're gonna try to force as much paint into these little tiny gaps that we can so that any of these bleeding marks, like you see here, that's gonna end up bleeding through in the same color as the wall. And once that's dried, it's gonna create a perfect seal between the tape and the wall. So you're gonna generously apply that wall color. And whereas before we we're trying to be careful not to fill that line, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push as much paint 
behind that tape as we can. So any of those imperfections, any of those voids are gonna get filled, but they're gonna get filled with the same color that's on the wall. Okay, now we're gonna give that a minute to set up and we're gonna come back with our blue and I'll show you a perfect line. Okay, so we've let our Sebring white dry up. Now it's dry to the touch. Um, some people ask how long do you wait before you peel the tape off? As long as you're not leaving globs of paint that are covering both the, the tape and the wall, when you peel it off, it shouldn't be an issue. Just make sure that there's no globs and it really shouldn't be a problem. The Sebring is tacked up, it's ready to go. So now I'm gonna take our blue paint and I'm gonna roll that line. Okay, some nice coverage. And now when I peel that tape off, you're gonna see absolutely perfect. Now you know that's gonna work because anything that did bleed is gonna be the same color as the wall. So even if the tape wasn't perfectly sealed, it won't matter because the paint that did bleed is the same color as the wall. There you have it folks, your definitive guide on how to get perfect paint lines using painter's tape. Thanks, Cantec.